Hey everyone, welcome back to the Waterstones vlog. It is Will here, and I think this might be my last solo vlog uh, for 2018. That's because next week we're going to be assembling en masse. The whole gang will be here and we'll be sharing our favourite books of the year. And then the week after that, things will be getting distinctly Christmassy. There may even be Christmas jumpers. Uh, we will be talking to you about the one book that we want to receive this Christmas and the one book that we will want to be giving to people this Christmas. But that's all in the future. This week, I want to talk to you about a book that I've read recently and absolutely loved. This is the book here. It is called A Different Drummer by William Melvin Kelly. Um, it was initially published in 1962. And Kelly died at the beginning of last year, so it's a very timely republication for this book. He had great success with this debut novel, actually, when it was published when he was only 24. Um, and whilst he continued to write for his whole life, um, actually, a lot of his work towards the end of his life remained unpublished, and he sort of fell out of favour. Um, he wrote some quite varied and, and often quite difficult books. This one is, is very easy to read um, and is absolutely fantastic on its themes of race in America, segregation, civil rights, um, but its approach is quite unique. And what it does is to tell the story of a town called Sutton, which is in a sort of made up state uh, in the South, sort of sandwiched between Mississippi and places like that. And what he's doing is telling the story of this town and in particular, one of its members, uh, a farmer called Tucker Caliban, who's a black farmer, who one day sows salt into his fields, kills his cow and his horse, sets his house on fire and leaves with his family. And the next day, the entire black population leaves, which is a fantastic setup because you're like, what is going on? Why has this happened? And also, what is the consequence of the black population of an entire state deciding to up sticks and leave and to go somewhere else? And what does that mean as a political act? It's a brilliant, brilliant setup. And interestingly, Kelly tells the story not through Tucker Caliban um, telling his own story, but it's narrated by a series of different characters, and they are all of them white. They are the white members of this sort of fairly well-established uh, community. Um, which has its roots very much in the Confederate South. Now that was quite interesting, I thought at first. Why is this black writer telling an important story about black people in America through white characters? And the sort of setup in itself, or that, that way of telling the structure, that way of telling the story, is a political act in itself. And it very much puts the onus uh, on the idea of the race problem not being a problem for the black members of that society, but the problem is for the white people to deal with. And in fact, through them expressing themselves through the various chapters, and we see people from different generations speaking, you get this fascinating insight into what race means to white people in America and the way that these things can change slightly through the generation. The N-word is peppered throughout this book. And in fact, one of the things is that the younger generation are learning that they're not allowed to use one N-word and they need to use a different N-word in order to talk about the people that they live and, and share the town with. And they're struggling with this language or how to talk or how to act with black people, which is, raises all sorts of fascinating ideas and questions. Um, there is this really brilliant way of slowly revealing the character of Tucker Caliban and indeed his history and indeed the history of the whole town through the history of its, its white inhabitants and especially the history of one family which goes right back to the, I guess the sort of the founding father of the state. Um, the brilliant thing I suppose is that if you're going to write a book which has got different authorial voices, different characters, it's quite hard to pull that off for them to actually be different. But Kelly does a brilliant job of these different characters. They feel very, very uh, differentiated, very, very clear. And even, as I say, with those different ages, their different attitudes, those are really, really clearly set out in the book. So it throws up this really uh, quite difficult to think about at times ideas about race, but done with this kind of humour almost. And that he's able to comment not in a nasty way, but by allowing, I guess, allowing people uh, enough space to give away their own prejudices and their own problems. Then at the end of the book, there is this really swift change in tone, which ends things in quite a brutal way and brings things right back down to earth again. And that hits home really hard. Uh, it means it has something to say about race in this period, which is sort of the end of the 50s and going into the early 60s. 
but of course it still has something to say about race in America today. And actually it has something to say about othering in any part of the world today. And in fact this idea that the class of people who you think of as being the people who clean your cars or clean your homes or do the jobs that you don't want to do, if they all decided to up and leave, and this is the, the, the problem the white characters in this book have, what does that mean for the town? What does it mean for the state? Will they survive if a third of their population disappears? What does that mean? Now, I couldn't help but look out of the window and think about where we are now with this country and with Brexit. What would happen if all of these people who a big section of this country ha have a problem with and worry about them taking their jobs away and all that sort of stuff? What if they, instead of sticking out doggedly and stoically and working in the service industries that other people won't work in, if they just upped and left, what would happen? Or, indeed, what would happen if politics or Brexit demands that these people have to up and leave? What does that mean for a country? What does it mean for its economy? What does it mean for it as a society and a community? Difficult questions. I don't have the answers to those questions, and, and, and Kelly doesn't offer them here in this book. He just throws it up to you. What would it mean if that was the course of action? What, what would it mean if a whole group of people decided they weren't going to take being treated like that anymore, and they decided to go somewhere else? Something for us all to think about, really, really important question and a really, really fascinating book. So I really heartily recommend A Different Drummer by William Melvin Kelly. I cannot help but now want to go and read his other books, even though they sound very, very different and, and probably this might be his best book. Um, I don't know how available they are, but I always used to like finding secondhand books various places. Uh, uh, so there you go, a writer to definitely find out more about. Um, and that is that for this week. So as I said, join us next week. We will be sharing our favourite books of the year. I'm not going to tell you what mine is yet. You'll have to come back next week and find out. But until then, take care. <laughs>